So Robbie, a new manager, why did he go for John McGreal? Yeah, we went for John because we felt he was the, the best young coach in the club and we thought he would be the best choice to take the team forward. You know, we're, we're trying to develop young coaches into great young managers as well as developing players and uh, John, John for us is the best choice. He was here a few months back when you appointed Kevin Keane. Why did you not appoint him then? Yeah, actually, to be honest, I would have probably liked to have appointed him then, but certain things wasn't right. We never had some of the things in place that we've now got in, in place. So what I mean by that is, traditionally, when a manager comes in, they're expected to do everything, you know, manage the whole club, the recruitment, the sports science, the medical, absolutely everything. What we've now done since Tony Humes has come in place is we've been able to put a structure in place that provides all of those and allows John, who, we, as I say, we know is a first-class team, first class coach, to come in and coach the first team and not have to worry too much about those things he can learn them over time so in a sense your former manager Tony Humes played quite a key role in then getting John McGreal to being the next manager he, he put those things in place for you know for, for John to feel comfortable taking the job yeah he did as I said it was it was clear to me the last time when we couldn't appoint internally that I needed someone that could come in and structure the club because it's something that we want to do. It's something we do want to develop our own talent and be loyal to the people that come into the club and, and that we grow. So what Tony was able to do is put a structure in place to, to make sure we can do that and we can change managers without it affecting the whole philosophy and the structure of the club. How does that dynamic work then between John and Tony, to, you know, one former manager and now the full, full-time manager of the club? Yeah, I think it's going to work really well. I think... Um, John's now got somebody that he can go to and discuss some of the issues and Tony's had that experience. They they joined the club at the same time, some seven years ago. They've pretty much built what we've got, which is a fantastic youth academy. And now between the two of them, they can go and build us with a first-class, first-team too, I hope.